Oh hi there big boys, welcome to my review of Warhammer Quest 2, The End Times. This is a sequel to Warhammer Quest 1. What a shocker there. Uh, it's pretty much the same game but worse, pretty much. I mean, I've not played the first one, but this is what I've gathered, gathered from other people saying words. But I've obviously played this one, you'd hope so anyway, if I was, if I was doing this video. And yeah, I don't really like it that much. Uh, it just doesn't do very much for me. It's a turn-based strategy dungeon crawler. It's quite a lot of those. Obviously, Warhammer originally, well it isn't originally that, but... It's sort of always been turn well, strategy, turn-based stuff. This is a bit different in the way that it's a dungeon crawler. But yeah, anyway, it's a mobile game. Well, mobile port, I guess, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I think it's it's a it's part. It sort of lacks, makes the game a bit more lacking as a result, because it just feels very mobile. The combat's quite boring. You just go around attacking enemies in the dungeons. It just it's standard stuff, you know. It's, I mean, it's decent enough, but it's just a bit sort of simple. Not too that exciting. And what I found quite annoying is that even when you're outside of combat, the movement was still turn-based, which I don't get what the point of that is. But anyway, that's fine. That's a bit annoying. Graphics aren't too bad. Lots of RNG, obviously. A lot of these games tend to have that, but honestly, it just kind of annoyed me. So yeah, I don't know. For me, it's not that great. It's, it's a very long. I'll give you that. There's um, sort of three campaigns, and each one's going to take you a long, long time. So that's good, I suppose. But uh, I mean, it's not. I don't think there's much more. I mean, the content doesn't matter if the content's not that fun. So that's something to be aware about. I think you're better off probably just playing the first one. It's probably cheaper. It's, you know, just, yeah. Don't really seem to get much out of this one in comparison to it. Uh, yeah, leveling up's boring as well. I just don't think the game's all that fun, honestly. It just doesn't get, uh, just doesn't get me excited. So there you go. But it runs pretty decently, though, I suppose. So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, we should hope it would, I guess. But there we go. That was Warhammer Quest 2. The end times. It's fine if you like these kind of games, I guess, but not for me. Anyway, that's what should be boys. It's a point in time, and bye.